as always, with our star and we find a mostly calm day. There was one plasma filament that released, but it was pretty much the smallest one on the sun, the one just left and south of the Earth's scale. Not only was it small, but it appears to have released back behind Earth's orbital position and will likely miss Earth entirely. Moving on next to the solar wind, top left we can see the plasma speed, the purple line, was rising all day yesterday and is waning back this morning. Down below we see the full day of geomagnetic instability triggered by that solar wind coupling, the yellow bars, which is also fading back down this morning. We did get one M-class solar flare, barely. It came from the larger sunspot group on the north as you will see here in 131 angstrom view, mostly a field connection based plasma acceleration that was wholly confined to the corona. The sunspots have been extremely quiet given their size, but the lead grouping has now shifted enough that we may get some more flares. Luckily, it's turned away from directly facing the Earth. Up first in the articles today is a tack on to our previous looks at Antarctic sea ice. Hopefully, we recall that many areas are gaining ice and it's only a few that are losing it rapidly. We've seen previous looks at how undersea volcanoes are found below those melting regions. And here, we confirm the geothermal heat flow control on that activity. Once again, the other areas without that heat flow are the ones known to be gaining ice.